Okay, little kitty. Well, the harder you throw the ball, the harder it will hit you back. Why? That's the nature of physics. We learn about it by answering a bouncy question. What is Newton's third law of motion? Zoom in! Before we jump into Newton's third law, I recommend checking out the first two laws to get a better understanding. You can find the links in the description below. Now, let's dive into today's topic. Newton's third law of motion is a key concept in physics and it really helps us understand how things work in the world. The law says, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. But what does that really mean? Simply put, whenever you apply force to something, that thing pushes or pulls back with the same amount of force, just in the opposite direction. Action and reaction forces always come as a pair. They are equal in strength but opposite in direction. For instance, when you sit on a chair, your body pushes down on the chair because of gravity. That's the action force. The chair in turn pushes up with an equal force, the reaction force, keeping you from falling through it. The reason you stay seated is that these forces balance each other out. I bet you're wondering, what exactly are these forces we are talking about? Well, a force is basically a push or pull that happens when two objects interact. Forces come in two main types, contact forces like friction and non-contact forces like gravity. Take a bird flapping its wings. For example, when it pushes air downward, that's the action force. The air pushes back up on the bird. That's the reaction force, lifting it off the ground. Every wing flap is a tiny action-reaction event that keeps the bird flying. But here's where it gets interesting. How an object reacts to these forces depends on its mass and how much it accelerates. Think about shooting a bullet. The gun pushes the bullet forward. Action! And the bullet pushes back on the gun. Reaction! Making the gun recoil. Now you might ask, why doesn't the gun fly back as fast as the bullet? That's because of Newton's second law, which tells us that acceleration depends on an object's mass and the force applied to it. The gun is much heavier than the bullet, so it doesn't accelerate as much, resulting in a small kickback instead of sending you flying. Here's another example. Imagine you're jumping out of a small boat onto the shore. When you push the boat backward, that's the action. The boat pushes you forward, that's the reaction, helping you reach the shore while the boat drifts away. But what if you tried the same thing with a huge ship instead of a small boat? Even though you're still pushing and the ship is still pushing back, the ship hardly moves. Why? Because the ship's mass is so much bigger than yours. The force you apply barely affects it. So while you move forward, the ship stays put with almost no movement at all. Trivia time! Did you know the three laws of motion were first stated by Isaac Newton in his book Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy? Yes, it was originally published in 1687. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Amaya Rajput. Hope you learned something important today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, 
zooming out. Mm, never mind.